question number 242 solve x into root of 1 minus sorry x into 1 minus x square dy plus 2x square y minus y minus ax cube dx equal to 0 so dy by dx is so rearranging x into 1 minus x square into dy by dx plus y into 2x square minus 1 equal to ax cube. So if you divide throughout by x into 1 minus x square, we have dy by dx is equal to y into 2x square minus 1 by x into x into 1 minus x square equal to ax cube by 1 x into 1 minus square. now the question is in the standard form of linear differential equation which is dy by dx is equal to y into sorry dy by dx not equal this is plus dy by dx plus y into uh, plus y into a, fun a function of p, p equal to 2. This is a standard form where p and q should be function of x alone. A constant or a function of x alone here p is 2x square minus 1 by x into 1 minus x square and q is equal to ax cube by x into 1 minus x square. Both are functions of x alone. Now we can uh, for such question integrating factor can be found out by using the formula e raised to p dx so we have e raised to integral p dx so 2x square minus 1 by x into 1 minus x square dx so we will integrate this separately sorry for the background noise integral 2x square minus 1 by x into 1 minus x square dx so this is an improper fraction so the numerators power highest power is 2 and this is cube so we have to split this mm. partial fractions we can use partial fractions 2x square minus 1 by x into 1 plus x 1 minus x is equal to so this is linear so a by x plus b by 1 plus x plus c by one minus x okay so if you so this becomes a into one plus x into one minus x plus b into x into one minus x plus c into x into one plus x so we can if you equate the numerators we will get this now we can put x uh, various values for x to find a b and c, a, a b and c so there is a c here sorry okay let me just write that neatly here it is plus c into x into 1 plus x okay so if you put x is equal to 1 on both lhs and rhs we have 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 is equal to so x is equal to 1 1 minus terms go 0 so this goes 0 this goes 0 so 1 equal to uh, c into 1 into 2 1 plus 1 2 so 2c two 2c two is equal to 1 that implies c equal to by 2 now we got c now if you put x is equal to minus 1 
we have 2 minus 1 again 1 equal to so minus 1 1 plus 6 terms go 0 so this goes 0 and this term goes 0 so this becomes v into minus 1 into 1, mi 1 minus minus 1 which is 2 so minus 2b is equal to 1 that implies b equal to uh, minus 1 by 2 similarly if you put x is equal to 0 when on LHS and RHS we have 2 into 0 0 minus 1 is equal to so x terms go 0 so all these b and c terms go 0 so a a equal to minus 1 so we get a b c now this means 2 x square minus 1 by x into 1 plus x into 1 minus x is equal to a by x so minus 1 by x plus b by 1 by x, 1 plus x so b is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus x so plus c so plus 1 by 2 into 1 minus x so now this is easily integrable so you can integrate this so integral 2x square by 1 by x into integral minus 1 minus 1 by so we have minus log x to minus 1 by 2 log 1 plus x plus 1 by 2 so here minus sorry minus 1 by 2 log 1 minus x we get this so using logarithm properties we have log of uh, so 1 by x into so minus 1 by 2 So here minus x to 1 plus x into 1 minus x so put or so we have our integrating factor is equal to e raised to integral 2x square minus 1 by x into 1 minus x square okay dx so this we got as this so we have e raised to log 1 by x into 1 plus x root of 1 this we can write 1 minus x square raised to 1 by 2 okay so e raised to log this is nothing but 1 by x into 1 minus x square raised to 1 by 2 so we got our integrating factor now solution for such question is given by y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c so y into sorry, 1 by our integrating factor is this so x into 1 minus x square raised to 1 by 2 is equal to integral q or what was our q let me just check the q is a x q let, let me just copy this it's easier This is our q, uh, q into integrating factor. So integrating factor was 1 by x into 
1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2. So whole into dx plus c. So x square is cancelled. So 1 minus x square into 1 plus 3 by 2 becomes 1 minus x square raised to 5 by 2. Okay, sorry, 1 by x, it's not 3 by 2, it's just 1 by 2 here. Okay, so this integral becomes, that is equal to a into integral x by 1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2 dx. So let me just okay. So if you put we need to integrate this. Let me just write this part here into Okay, now we need to integrate this right hand side. So we'll do that separately. So integral x by 1 minus square raised to 3 by 2 x. So put, uh, sorry, 1 minus x square is equal to t. So minus 2x is equal to uh, 2x dx equal to dt. So we have already x here. So this becomes integral becomes if you apply minus 1 by 2, we have minus 2x in the top. So this becomes dt by t raised to 3 by 2. So that becomes minus 1 by 2 into t raised to minus 3 by 2 is integral is t raised to minus 3 by 2 plus 1. So t raised to minus 3 by 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by 2 by minus 1 by 2 so we have y into y into 1 by x into root of sorry not root sorry 1 by x into 1 minus x square raised to 1 by 2 is equal to integral a of a of integral x by 1 minus x square we got as uh, we, I'll just substitute for that okay I didn't substitute for minus 1 by 2. So this minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 get cancelled. So this becomes 1 by root t. So root is root of 1 minus. Uh, so t becomes 1 minus x square. So this is 1 minus x square. This integral. So we got a, a by root of 1 minus x square. So how? Let's call this one equation one and this two. So using two in one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Plus C. So now if you multiply throughout by root of 1 minus x square we have uh, multiply throughout by x into root of 1 minus x square so we have y equal to a x plus c into uh, x into root of 1 minus 
x square so this is the solution uh, final solution so in the standard uh, in the textbook the answer given is instead of root of 1 minus x square it is given root of x square minus 1 so when i check the steps the it became x square minus 1 uh, b instead of 1 minus x square here instead of 1 plus x into 1 minus x they took um, x plus 1 into x minus 1 so even uh, uh, so even if and then the whole equation gets a little messed up so I, I think they made some error and our steps looks correct so if you think I have made any mistake in the steps in so, um, like while solving this question do point it out I'll correct correct it so this is the final solution and these are the steps so let me just mark this that's a good question so since this involves the concept of partial fractions and some complicated integrals let me just mark this as a good question so this is the final solution to Question number 242. Thank you.